Okay, first of all, there's two types of brooms. Of course, you know the main broom. And there's also what we call a blade that can also be used on a raised board or in competitions. Basically, with the crossbreeds, we're keeping it simple. Um, it's a bit more simpler than the merino fleeces. Um, with the crossbreeds, we don't take any brisket off, or crib, as you would call it in other places. So we're just getting right into it, and that'll just all come together, the belly. So that's pretty much a belly. We're not taking anything off that. Obviously, there's no brisket there. There's pretty much nothing left on it. Some places you will be asked to take that out. Coming into the undermine, you'll notice a few pieces around the edges. Probably just starting to take some of those out. They will be kept separate. You'll place that in a bin. After that, there's a few shorter pieces, what we call locks. Just place, pull those out and place the legs forward. So it's just really the shorter pieces of the locks, no more than 50 mils, that'll all go in as well into the lock. Just behind the sherry, you also might find a bit more belly or shank area that's also going into the locks, and this arcs to keep it separate. As we're coming around to the long blow, I'm going to lift that out. I'm, what I'm looking for is the short piece of the collar around the neck area. So I pretty much just want all the short stuff out. My sherry has just caught out black wool, so I want to take that out, but it's not quite off yet. So I'll take some of that out, making sure there's nothing around it, and just place that there. I'm going to call out to a classer. Black wool, someone's going to come and take it off me. I'm going to start skirting on the outskirts of this, pulling it out, and following the line pretty much like it's on the table, but it's actually upside down this time. So just the real short minimum pieces. Making sure you're keeping up of the top of that leg. These here are separate from the locks. Obviously different length factor. Coming on to the last side, there's always a little bit of neck. There's not much there, there's probably just that smidge there. I'm actually also going to put those in the pieces. If it's really short, less than 50 mils, it'll go in the lot. Coming down on the last side, keeping it flat, following the line, just taking the very minimum pieces out. Try not to pull the shearer's fleece, because you'll cut it. And once I've got those pieces out, they're placed in the bin. There's also some shorter wool up around here from the crutch area, than when they've been crutched. So we must take those out too, and they'll also go in the locks, being only 50 mils. Once you've completed that, you grab the whole long part of the blow, place it on top, and wrap it ready to go into the press. Placing it in the bin or a pack. Straight after that, I'm going to grab this blade and I'm going to use it to switch. Wind moves a lot. 